I think it's time to go fire something up. As you can see, we've got uh, quite a bit of the snow melted, just to kind of give you an indication of how much is actually melted. I couldn't see that wheelbarrow the last time I uh, made a video, so that'll give you a bit of an idea. And uh, the LTD there is pretty much uh, all cleared off, all the snow melted. And I came out here a few days ago before it all melted, and uh, I dug my trench a little trail a bit farther. So hopefully we'll be able to get to the falcon today. I think we will. Yeah, they're all uh, melting away quite nicely. truck will be able to get out of here pretty soon I bet. Not very deep at all. Nothing left on the rabbit. Might have to walk over to that too. See what I can do with it. Hey you can actually see there are cars back here. That's amazing. Well there's the falcon. Probably got the deepest snow of anywhere yet. I think you know the drill from here. I'll get over there and uh, start shoveling it out and see if we can't get it running. Well I had hoped the uh, snow was hard enough to walk on but of course it wasn't so I had to dig myself a little path and uh, looks like I'm gonna have to uh, dig out this whole side here and into the front so I can clear it all the way and get to it because it's deeper here than anywhere else and this snow has got uh, a hard crust on top and it's just mush underneath so it's not exactly fun but we'll get there I bet you this thing will fire up no problem all right the human snowblower does it again I should get into building igloos for a living or something I don't know but we got her we got her uncovered, we got the hood open. And we got a, a little bit of evidence of mice on top of the air cleaner and down in the engine a little bit, but it doesn't look like they made it past the air filter and uh, into the carburetor. I didn't see any junk in there, so we should be good. Check the oil and it was fine. Coolant's bone dry, but we're not gonna run it that long, so it should be fine. Now I gotta go hike up and get a battery and a gas can throw some gas in the back and I bet you'll fire right up it's one of those cars that doesn't even look like it should run just by the look of it you know just absolutely nasty but runs like a champ so I'll go grab a gas can and hook her up and grab a battery and I bet you'll pop right off all right poured a little bit of gas in it Hopefully not too much, and uh, got the battery in it. Hopefully that'll uh, that'll work. Hopefully it's got a charge, and hopefully the uh, cables are clean enough to work. But uh, well, let's uh, fire it up and see what happens. Ah, screw it, it's sucking it up. Let's just keep cranking.
Well, it ran a little rough at first, but can you blame it? Been sitting all winter. Not bad at all. And of course, my uh, DOT approved fuel cell working good. I got a little pop to it, but I'm not going to complain. Yep, running pretty good actually. Not bad at all. Eh, for a Flintstones car, anyway. Yeah, I think during the uh, the springtime, I'll grab the tires off of that uh, that Hyundai there because I think they're the same size or close enough anyway. I don't know if the uh, if they'll bolt right up or not, but if not, I'll have to just change the uh, the tires because these ones in the back are well, they're junk. I can't believe that one's still holding air. Well, I think she's run long enough. We'll close her up and uh, hopefully that battery will still be good. Maybe we'll do the uh, uh, Volkswagen here coming up. Tell you, it's smooth, man. Like a damn sewing machine. Not bad for how old it is and the points and everything. Yep, amazes me every time.